Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in, in which, which we partake of Christ, Christ his, his sufferings are remembered, our, our minds are filled with his grace, and, and we receive the pledge of the glory which is to be ours. You gave them bread from heaven to be their food, and this bread contain all goodness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May a worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be met worthy of our promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth to beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us meditate on the sorrowful mysteries. The first sorrowful mystery, the agony in the garden. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second sorrowful mystery, the scourging at the pillar. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third sorrowful mystery, the crowning with thorns. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth sorrowful mystery, the carrying of the cross. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion and death of Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We fly to your patronage, O Holy Mother of God, despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers, Whoever glorious and blessed Virgin, Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, pray for us, that we may be met worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech you that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him with a splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, we entrusted our Savior to the care of Saint Joseph by the help of his prayers May your church continue to serve her Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee Prayer O God, our Father and Creator, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this Jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life. 
whose name we proclaim, whose love we strive to incarnate. O God, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works, in the consecration of our lives to holy preaching. In speaking only to you and about you, let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us all, in the gospel we share with all peoples. By your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, Saint Dominic, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is Tuesday of Holy Week. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my and mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Come, let, Come, us, let us worship Christ, Christ the Lord, Lord, who for, for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, whom for our sake endure temptation and suffering. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it was formed by His hands. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, whom for our sake endure temptation and suffering. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For He is our God and we are His people, the flock His shepherds. Come, Come let, us let us worship Christ, Christ the Lord, Lord, who for our, our sake endured temptation and suffering. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ, Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Please be seated. O Lord, defend my cause. Rescue me from deceitful and impious men. Defend me, O God, and plead my cause against a godless nation. From deceitful and cunning men, Rescue me, O God. Since you, O God, are my stronghold, why have you rejected me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? O send forth your light and your truth. Let this be my guide. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. And I will come to the altar of God, the God of my joy. My Redeemer, I will thank you on the harp, O God, my God. 
Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise Him still, my Savior and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be, forever. Amen. Lord, my God, you defended my cause. You ransomed my life. Once I said, in the noon time of life, I must depart. To the gates of the netherworld I shall be consigned for the rest of my years. I said, I shall see the Lord no more in the land of the living. No longer shall I behold my fellow men among those who dwell in the world. My dwelling like a shepherd's tent is struck down and burned away from me. You have folded up my life like a weaver who severs the last thread. Day and night you give me over to torment. I cry out until the dawn. Like a lion, he breaks all my bones. Day and night, you give me over to torment. Like a shallow, I utter shrill cries. I moan like a dove. My eyes grow weak, guessing half and word. O Lord, I am in straits, be my surety. You have preserved my life from the pit of destruction, when you cast behind your back all my sins. For it is not the nether word that gives you thanks, nor death that praises you. Neither do those who go down into the pit await your kindness. The living, the living give you thanks, as I do today. Fathers declare to their sons, O God, your faithfulness. The Lord is our Savior. We shall sing to string instruments in the house of the Lord all the days of our life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. My servant, the just one, will justify many by taking their sins on himself. To you our praise is due in Zion, O God. To you we pay our vows, you who hear our prayer. To you all flesh will come with its burning of sin, too heavy for us our offenses, but you wipe them away. Blessed is he whom you choose and call to dwell in your courts. We are filled with the blessings of your house, of your holy temple. You keep your pledge with wonders, O God our Savior, the hope of all the earth and of far distant isles. You uphold the mountains with your strength. You are girded with power. You still the roaring of the seas, the roaring of their waves, and the tumult of the peoples. The ends of the earth stand in awe. At the sign of your wonders, the lens of sunrise and sunset, you fill with your joy. You care for the earth, give it water. You fill it with riches. Your river in heaven brims over to provide its grain. And thus you provide for the earth. You drench it far furrows. You level it, soften it with sowers. You bless its growth. You crown the year with your goodness. Abundance flows in your steps. In the pastures of the wilderness it flows. The hills are girded with joy, the meadows covered with flocks. The valleys are decked with wheat. They shout for joy, yes, they sing. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant us so to celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's Passion that we may merit to receive your pardon. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear me, O islands. Listen, O distant peoples. The Lord called me from birth. From my mother's womb, he gave me my name. He made of me a sharp as sword and concealed me in the shadow of his arm. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver, he hid me. You are my servant. He said to me, Israel, 
through whom I show my glory. Though I thought I had toiled in vain, and for nothing uselessly spent my strength, yet my reward is with the Lord, my recompense is with my God. For now the Lord has spoken, who formed me as his servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him, and Israel gathered to him. And I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, he says, for you to be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations, that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will sing of your salvation. I will sing of your salvation. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me and deliver me. Incline your ear to me and save me. I will sing of your salvation. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock and my fortress. O oh my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. I will sing of your salvation. For you are my hope, O Lord, my trust, O God, from my youth. On you I depend from birth. My mother's womb, you are my strength. I will sing of your salvation. My mouth shall declare your justice, day by day your, your salvation. O God, you have taught me from my youth, until the present I proclaim your wondrous deeds. I will sing of your salvation. Please stand. Hail to you, our King, obedient to the Father. You were led to your crucifixion like a gentle lamb to the slaughter. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Reclining at table with his disciples, Jesus was deeply troubled and testified, Amen, amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another at a loss as to whom he meant. One of his disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining at Jesus' side. So Simon Peter nodded to him to find out whom he meant. He leaned back against Jesus' chest and said to him, Master, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I had the morsel after I have dipped it. So he dipped the morsel and took it and handed it to Judas son of Simon, the Scariot. After Judas took the morsel, Satan entered him. So Jesus said to him, What you are going to do, do quickly. Now none of those reclining at table realized why he said this to him. Some thought that since Judas kept the money bag, Jesus had told him, Buy what we need for the feast or to give something to the poor. So Judas took the morsel and left at once, and it was night. When he had left, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and he will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little while longer. You will look for me, and as I told the Jews, where I go, you cannot come. So now I say it to you. Simon Peter said to him, Master, where are you going? Jesus answered him, Where I am going, you cannot follow me now, though you will follow later. Peter said to him, Master, why can I not follow you, you now? I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered, 
Will you lay down your life for me? Amen, amen, I say to you, the cock will not crow before you deny me three times. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. Siguro lahat naman tayo nung bata pa, we have imagined um, many things. We have imagined uh, mga superpowers na meron tayo. Um, iba siguro na-imagine nila that they could see the future. Um, they pretended that they could see the future. Iba siguro na-imagine nung bata pa na nakakalipad. I remember when I was a child na papanaginipan ko even dream of flying. Many times, hindi lang minsan, many times I would dream of flying. I would dream of being close to the ceiling, lumilipad, umaandar, going through uh, different rooms in the house, and even outside. Ang sarap ng pakiramdam. Ang sarap ng pakiramdam ng, ng nananaginip na you were flying. Ba siguro na naginip din ang superpower ng lakas. Imagine ang superpower ng lakas na makakabuhat ng truck katulad ni Superman. O kaya mag-imagine na um, naririnig o nababa, naririnig ang sinasabi sa kanilang sinasabi ng ibang tao sa kanilang isip. Hindi pa sinasabi, naririnig na nila. O kaya ay nababasa ano yung sinasabi ng puso. Siguro, ibang tao nag-i-imagine din, ibang bata nag-i-imagine din ng ganyan. Parang, it's nice, it's pleasant to imagine those things. Pleasant kasi ay na-imagine natin, maganda yung makikita natin. Maganda yung maririnig natin. Halimbawa, well, imagine flight, no? lumilipad. Maganda kasi, masarap yung pakiramdam. But we don't realize siguro na baka kung tunay tayo lumilipad, eh, mabubunggo tayo ng mga agila o ng mga, mga ibang mga hayop. Bubunggo tayo sa puno. No? We don't realize that not so great things that may happen kung meron tayo ng superpowers na yan. No? Hindi natin na-realize yung, yung negative, yung negative consequences. But anyway, okay lang yun. Kasi sa atin, it's just pure imagination. Imagination lang yan. Larong bata na lumilipad, nakakakita through metal o through concrete, nakakita katulad ni Superman o lakas o anumang superpowers. They're just pure imagination. Si Jesus had some kind of superpower. He was able to see the future. He could see the future. And he was deeply, according to the gospel, he was deeply troubled and terrified. Jesus saw his future. His future was coming right there in front of his eyes. And he was terribly, deeply troubled and terrified. Shows to us how truly human he was. Aside from being truly God, truly divine, he was also truly human. Kaya nga natakot. He was terrified kasi ito yung darating sa kanya. Nangangamba. Nag-worry. Kasi ito na yung darating sa kanya, yung kanyang kamatayan. Nakita na niya yun. Kasama na yun sa mission niya kasi, di ba? Kasama na yun sa mission niya. And it was not a pleasant sight. So he was deeply troubled and terrified. Imagine mo na, makita mo yung sarili mo na nagdurusa, mamamatay. No? Siguro kung makita mo kung gano'ng ka, kahirap yung dadaanan mo, ikaw rin, kahit sino. Matatakot. Hindi lang yun, nakita mo yung betrayal ni Judas. That Judas was gonna betray him. He saw that in his, in his mind and in his, and in his heart. And that must have been painful. After welcoming Judas, you know, into his uh, group of apostles, that must have been painful. That must have been a, a, a feeling of hmm, betrayal. He, he could have, he must have seen also na yung apostles niya, apostles niya, inabandon siya, iniwan siya. Sa kalagitna kung kailan siya <coughs> naghihirap at uh, 
hinuhuli ng mga Roman soldiers, ng mga, mga taong gustong pumatay sa kanya, iniwan siya, natakot din. Iniwan siya. He was abandoned. That too, must have been so frustrating. Di ba? Frustrating, depressing, what a big letdown. Napakahirap, napakasakit na yung mga inaasahan mo, wala dun. Yung mga kinaibigan mo, binenta ka. Na yung makasakasama mo for three years, all of a sudden, naglaho, parambula, kung kailan mo sila kailangan. Napakasakit. Masakit siguro, no? That's what I mean. When you imagine things <clears throat> like superpowers, it's not all, we should imagine also that it's not all good, no? Sometimes it's bad. But what's important here is um, that what he was imagining was simply the fulfillment of his, of his mission, no? It was, he knew that he was going to suffer and die, but he was doing that for the very people who abandoned him. For the very people who betrayed him, for the very people who offended him, for the very people who humiliated and whipped him and stripped him and put a crown of thorns on his head, made him to carry his cross and nailed him and even pursed his side. Nakita niya yun, yung mission niya, at finulfill pa rin niya yung mission niya, kahit dun sa mismong mga tao na magpapahirap sa kanya. But the most important thing is, he did not complain. Hindi umangal. Hindi umangal si Jesus. Not even a word of complaint. Bakit ba? No? Maginawa ko sa'yo. Not a word. He did not complain. He suffered and died with and out of love. He suffered and died with and out of love for us for the very people who put him there ang napaka ano no vicious circle si, ito na nga yung mga tao na nagpapahirap sa iyo ito na mga yung taong magkukuha ng buhay mo siya pa rin para pa rin sa kanila kung bakit ka nag-alay ng buhay no parang luging lugi luging lugi si Jesus but he never uttered a single word of resentment or complain. On the contrary, di ba? Nalaman natin, Jesus would say on the cross, no? Father, forgive them for they do not know what they do. Not a single word of complaint. Importante yun kasi tayo mismo, paminsan, minsan, in our own little ways, we feel betrayed or maybe are betrayed or maybe just feel betrayed. In our own little ways and experiences, we may have felt abandoned or we may have been truly abandoned. We may have been hurt or humiliated or treated unfairly. Pwedeng feeling lang natin yun, no? pwedeng totoo na nangyari na tayo'y nangailangan ng hustisya, na tayo'y uh, hindi natrato ng maayos, ng tama, na tayo'y nalugi, na tayo'y nalamangan. No? We must have gone through those experiences. But our, we should, we might want to think right now, at siguro yun ang iniimbita sa atin ng gospel, when those things happen, ano yung mga salita? Ano yung mga feelings na, na umaandar sa ating mga puso, sa ating mga isap, isipan? What thoughts and words came out of our minds and our hearts? What ways of vengeance did we imagine doing or do we imagine doing? Ano-anong klaseng mga paghihiganti ang naisip natin? Of course, syempre, pag nag-iisip na tayo ng paghihiganti, natural, mas, ma, mas malala pa doon sa tinanggap natin. Ano? Madalas, mas malala pa doon sa kinuha natin. So if we knew that someone would betray us, what would we, what would, what would we do? Siguro, unahan natin, no? Uunahan natin, lalamangan natin. We will not stop until we feel vindicated. Tanong natin siguro, kaya-kaya natin silang pabayaan, katulad ng ginawa ni Jesus, no? 
Kaya kaya, 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 kaya natin silang gawin. Kung pinili nilang gawin, kaya kaya natin ipasadyos na lang yung mga sakit, yung mahirap, ibigay na lang sa Diyos. Kaya kaya natin patawarin. Kaya kaya natin mahalin. Si Jesus na sinusundan natin, na sinasabi natin, uh, we will follow, katulad ni Peter, we will follow, follow you to the end. Si Jesus na ginawa sa atin yan. Tayo kaya? Magagawa rin kaya natin? As we uh, continue with the Holy Week, maybe we, this is one of the things that we can consider thinking, no? How do we respond? How can we respond more in a, more in a way that is more like Jesus to the unpleasant things that happen in our lives? How can we be more like Jesus in our response to the unpleasant things that happen in our lives? Let us all stand up. Let us humbly present our petitions before our Lord, always remembering the suffering He endured in order to make salvation possible for us. After each petition, we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who feel betrayed by friends may avoid bitterness, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That sinners may be discouraged, may not be discouraged, but seek forgiveness in the sacrament of reconciliation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who suffer may find the strength to bear their burdens, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may unite their sufferings with Christ, and be filled with inner peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Bishops of the Philippines and for our brothers and ministry, St. Lamas Aquinas and St. Raymond of Pinaport, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag and for our personal intentions. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may be given a place in the heavenly kingdom, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God our Father, in your wisdom, you permitted your only Son to suffer for us. Through the Spirit, draw us closer to you, that we may express our devout gratitude. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, which will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable 
to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Look favorably, O Lord, we pray, on these offerings of your family, and to those you make partakers of these sacred gifts, grant a share in their fullness, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and, by, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the found of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again, until you come again, we proclaim your death, O Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. stand. Let us pray now to our Father in heaven in the words that our Lord himself has taught us. Our Father, who art Lord in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world, world have, mercy have mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world, world have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this banquet. Lord, I'm, Lord, not, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, only but only word, say the word, word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together. Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord, from coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord, from dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord, from bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord, from threats, intimidation, and perfect language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord, that conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord, that the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord, that human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord, that the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord, the genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guard those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please all stand. Father, give me the glory that I had with you before the world was made. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation, but the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Father, give me the glory that I had with you before the world was made. Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, O Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you have fed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for a moment for some announcements. Dear devotees of Our Lady of Manawa, the summer feast of Our Lady of the Ro Rosary of Manawa will be on May 4, 2022, third West Day after Easter Sunday. The Novena Masses will be scheduled at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m. from April 25 to May 3, 2022. Additional Mass at 3 p.m. on May 1, Sunday. We invite you to participate in these Novena Masses. If you wish to sponsor one of several Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation, where you will be provided with an acknowledgement receipt. Or you may visit our website, www.manawakminorbasilica.org, for the online PAMISA. All names of donors and sponsors will appear in the electronic souvenir program. Thank you very much for your continued support. God bless you. Please stand. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pakikisa sa Santa Misa. Paalala lang po, nasa Thursday, Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and Black Saturday. Itong Thursday, Friday, and Saturday na wala pong misa sa umaga, okay? Huwag kayong pupunta dito para magsimba. Walang misa sa umaga, ang misa lang or, or liturgy lang, celebration lang ay lahat sa hapon 
isa lang na tuloy-tuloy Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, okay? Mass of the Last Supper, uh, Veneration of the Cross on Friday, and Easter Vigil on Saturday. Umaga, wala. At uh, magbula sa Friday, wala rin pong blessing ng cars o ng religious articles, okay? The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God, bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May your mercy, O God, cleanse the people that are subject to you from all seduction of former ways and make them capable of new holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. We shall now bless the sick and pray for and bless your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary. May all these articles be blessed and those who use them made holy as they fulfill the will of God according to the example of the Blessed Mother. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.